In this video, we'll do an exam review on the lower motor neuron disorders causing muscle atrophy and hypotonia. Let's do the lower motor neuron disorders causing muscle atrophy and hypotonia. So what's muscle tone? Living normal muscles are in a state of slight contraction that is known as tone. Tone is resistance to passive stretch or resistance felt by the examiner during passive stretching of a joint when muscles are at rest. Muscle tone mathematically is the change in resistance or force per unit change in length and why does this occur the peripheral motor nerve which arises from the brain stem lower motor cranial nuclei and anterior horn cells of the spinal cord these two cranial nuclei and the anterior horn cells are the lower motor neuron and they are controlled by the corticobulbar fiber and corticospinal fibers to the anterior horn cell of the spinal cord and from the anterior horn cell of the spinal cord arises the peripheral nerve which mainly contains alpha and gamma motor neurons alpha motor neurons ramifies the extra fusal fibers is thick and fast connecting and a gamma motor neuron ramifies the intrafusal fibers is thin and slow conducting the upper motor neurons the pyramidal tract corticospinal fibers and the corticobulbar fibers control and inhibit these lower motor neurons the upper motor neuron are inhibitory to the alpha and gamma motor neuron and inhibit continuous excitatory activities of the alpha and gamma motor neurons. So what gamma motor neuron does? The gamma motor neuron controls the reflexes and muscle tone. They supply the intrafusal fibers of muscle spindles that causes stretch reflex and gamma motor neuron controls the stretch reflex. Loss of gamma motor neuron causes loss of stretch reflex but it doesn't cause weak so what causes muscle weakness we'll discuss it later muscle spindles generate tone by activating the stretch reflex and stretch reflex is a monosynaptic and ipsilateral and is the interaction between the muscle spindle and spinal cord muscle tone is regulated by spinal and supraspinal mechanisms brain areas may inhibit or facilitate the stretch reflex brain areas that inhibit the stretch reflex are motor cortex, basal ganglia, cerebellum, and reticular inhibitory system, and the one which facilitated our reticular activating system and the vestibular nuclei. A stretch reflex can be of two types dynamic and static. So, what's dynamic stretch reflex? If an alpha motor neuron is stimulation to extrafusal fibers leads to muscle contraction, this is dynamic stretch reflex, and this is the basis of clinical elicitation of dependent reflexes so alpha motor stimulation causes muscle contraction this is dynamic stretch reflex alpha motor neuron damage so what does it cause it causes inability to cause muscle contraction that leads to muscle weakness flexit paralysis and atrophy so damage to alpha motor neuron causes muscle weakness flexit paralysis and atrophy now causes of of lower motor neuron lesions. Hypotonia or atonia may occur in newborn babies or in diseases or damages to the lower motor neuron. So these are congenital or acquired. Now effects of anoxia in newborn baby. They have a weak cry, difficulty in sucking and swallowing, head flops due to weak neck muscles. There is hyperflexibility and speech difficulties. So the effects of anoxia in a newborn baby babies are that they have weak cry, difficulty in sucking and swallowing, head flop due to weak neck muscle, high and speech difficulty. Now the central causes of hypotonia are prematurity, birth before 37 weeks, birth anoxia, cerebral palsy and hypoxic emic encephalopathy. Amongst the chromosomal causes of hypotonia are Down syndrome, in prader willi syndrome there is defect in chromosome 15, in sex disease there is deficiency of hexosaminidase and muscle dystrophies also cause hypotonia. Now X-linked spinobulbar muscular atrophy or Kennedy's disease. The spinobulbar muscular atrophy is an X-linked lower motor neuron disorder that affects the males in the middle life. It causes progressive weakness and wasting of the limb and bulbar muscles and 
androgen insensitivity. So in Kennedy's syndrome, which is an X-linked lower motor neuron, there is weakness and wasting of the limbs and pulbar muscle and androgen insensitivity leading to gynecomastia and reduced fertility and it is subtle sensory neuropathy as well. So both motor and sensory deficit with infertility in Kennedy's disease. Next is spinal muscular atrophy. There are three types and there is extensive loss of large motor neurons, anterior horn cells and there is denervation atrophy on biopsy. So loss of large motor neuron and denervation atrophy in spinal muscular atrophy. The three forms, number one, infantile spinal muscular atrophy, also known as wardnick hoffman disease. It rapidly fatal, floppy babies, severe hypotonia, arms and legs hang straight down from their side and they lack muscle stretch reflex. So in the most severe form, they are floppy babies with severe hypotonia and absent muscle reflex. In this wardnick hoffman disease, there is degeneration of the anterior horn cell and the hypotonic newborn babies, the milestones are delayed and there is delay in fine motor movement. Second variety is childhood, which is slowly progressive and third variety is juvenile spinal motor atrophy in which there is proximal muscle weakness. Now, adult Tay-Sachs disease, it's also a lower motor motor neuropathy with deficiency of the enzyme hexosaminidase and there is degeneration of the cerebellum and also atrophy. There is dysarthria and radiculopathy but spasticity may also occur in Tay-Sachs disease. So Tay-Sachs disease is a lower motor neuron disorder due to the deficiency of hexosaminidase with cerebellar degeneration and atrophy and dysarthria and radiculopathy. Next is multifocal motor neuropathy with Induction block. In this disorder, there are antibodies to gangliosidase EM1 and the defects in the lower motor neuron function due to conduction defect. Now, now acquired defects of lower motor neurons. So, where are these lower motor neurons? Anterior horn cell of the spinal cord, brain stem motor cranial nerve nuclei, exons of the peripheral nerves that innervate the muscle and neuromuscular junction, and muscle dystrophies, the lesions of which cause lower motor neuron disorder. Disorders. The corticobulbar fiber, as I already explained earlier, that these are the corticobulbar fibers that synapse in the cranial nerve nuclei in the brain stem, and this one is the corticospinal tract, which end up in the anterior arm cell of the spinal cord, and they control the activities of these two structures, brain stem nuclei and the anterior arm cell of the spinal cord. Lower motor neuron lesions. Clinical features of bulbar palsy are difficulty in swallowing, lack of gag reflex and progressive loss of speed, excessive drooling, weak jaw and facial muscles, weakness of the face and tongue with tongue atrophy. So clinical features of the bulbar palsy are like that of the lower motor neuron defect with difficulty in swallowing, lack of gag reflex, excessive drooling, weakness of the muscles of the face and jaw and weakness of the tongue and atrophy of the tongue. Whereas compared to the bulbar palsy, the pseudobulbar palsy results from bilateral corticobulbar lesions. So pseudobulbar palsy, there is bilateral lesions of the corticobulbar fibers or the supranuclear fibers. So the neurological defects are that of the upper motor neuron type with increased tone, increased reflexes and weakness, increased jaw jerk, dysphonia, dysarthria and dysphagia and emotional instability. Outbreaks of laughing or crying. So pseudobulbar palsy, there are increased tone and reflexes and bulbar palsy, there is decreased tone and reflexes and muscle weakness. Now what are the causes? of acquired conditions causing hypotonia, trauma, tumors, infection, diseases of the peripheral nerves and muscle disorders, myopathy, neuropathy, causing lower motor neuron lesions. Now the clinical features due to lower motor neuron lesion. Interruption of alpha motor neuron causes flaccid paralysis and muscle atrophy and interruption of the gamma motor neuron causes loss of muscle tone and hyporeflexion. Combined 
effects of interruption of alpha and gamma motor neuron produces flexid paralysis, muscle atrophy, hypotonia, hyporeflexia, fasciculations, fibrillations, and a negative Babinski sign. So these are the features of lower motor neuron lesion. And also there occur denervation hypersensitivity. And what's denervation hypersensitivity? The denervated muscle becomes hypersensitive to a small amounts of acetylcholine. Now some of the acquired causes of lower motor neuron disease. Number one, botulism. Botulism in children causes floppy baby syndrome and in adults it causes symmetric descending paralysis. So how does it do it? Cholestridium botulinum neurotoxin blocks the acetylcholine release from the presynaptic terminal and block the neuromuscular junction. This is a black shadow shows a blockade of the acetylcholine release from the presynaptic terminal and this occurs 20 to 30 hours after eating food that is not reheated properly. So it causes symmetric descending paralysis and autonomic disturbances and cranial nerve involvement causes dysarthria and dysphagia and the eye features are diplopia, drooping and dilated fixed pupil which is poorly reactive in 50% of cases and death due to respiratory failure. Paralytic ileus with severe constipation is also a feature of botulinum. Now the next disorder is poliomyelitis causing lower motor neuron lesion. The virus attacks the anterior horn cell causing lower motor neuron lesion. Next is myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis is an autoimmune disease that causes asymmetric descending weakness of the skeletal muscle due to decrease acetylcholine receptors at the neuromuscular junction. So botulinum causing symmetric descending paralysis whereas myasthenia gravis causes asymmetric descending weakness due to decreased acetylcholine receptors at the neuromuscular junction. Acetylcholine esterase is present at the site of action and it stops the muscle contraction. Acetylcholine esterase act on the acetylcholine when it's produced and it converts it into acetate and choline. So here it is. This is the acetylcholine and this present here is acetylcholine esterase. Acetylcholine is released from the presynaptic terminal and the acetylcholine receptors are present postsynaptically. So there is a decreased number of acetylcholine receptors due to antibodies which destroy them. So in myasthenia gravis there is down regulation or reduced acetylcholine receptors. Antibodies against the acetylcholine receptor and muscle kinase antibody postsynaptic nerve terminal and they block and destroy the receptors and damage membrane postsynaptic. Now different types of myasthenia gravis. One affects the extraocular muscle or it may be generalized causing asymmetric muscle weakness. Weakness increases with repeated use and it's more in the evening and improves after rest. There occur a snarling smile, dysphagia, normal reflexes in myasthenia gravis. There is positive tensilone and there is 10 to 15 percent decrease in action potential amplitude. Repeat Repeated nerve stimulation increases the muscle weakness and the MRI of the thymus shows hyperplasia, germinal centers and muscle-like cells. Treatment of myasthenia is pyridostigmine, immunosuppression, plasma pheresis, IV immunoglobulins and thymectin. Now, Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy is a motor neuron type of facial nerve lesion that is nuclear and infranuclear fibers of the seventh cranial nerve are involved, causing lower motor neuron type of lesion with hypotonia, hyporeflexia, and weakness of the ipsilateral side of the face, both upper and and lower face because facial nerve supplies the same side of the face. Next is ALS, amyotropic lateral sclerosis. The lesions in ALS are both upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron lesions. So in ALS there are mixed lesions without sensory lesions. There is defect in the superoxide dismutase. Now brown secret syndrome or hemisection of the spinal cord has clinical features of ipsilateral upper and lower motor 
motor neuron lesion, lower motor neuron lesions with flexit paralysis at a level of the lesion, and upper motor neuron lesions below the level of injury. So these two disorders, ALS and Brown sequel syndrome, have both upper and lower motor neuron mixed lesions. Now myopathy. Stretch reflexes decrease in lower motor neuron lesions, but stretch reflex remains normal in myopathy until until when until late in the disease in lower motor neuron lesion the weakness affects distal muscles more than in the proximal muscle and there are fasciculations and early atrophy whereas a myopathic weakness affects the proximal muscle and is symmetrical the myopathic weakness is due to the decrease in the number of muscle fibers due to dystrophies or inflammatory myopathy or myopathic necrosis and in myopathy on EMG there are decreased action potential voltage. Other diseases causing lower motor neuron type of features are amyloidosis, sarcoidosis, multiple sclerosis, Genbar syndrome and diabetes mellitus.